guys and welcome back to Jewel's Guinea Pig Palace. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a proper cleaning of your guinea pig and needs of bathing and nail clipping. And then we're also going to be talking about this special pig's um, history. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. Um, this is Gizmo. Gizmo is one that we did get from a Petco rescue. rescue. Um, Oh, so a pet store rescue. He was a surrender to that pet store. They were adopting him and his brother out. So I do have his brother also. His brother's name is Walter. He's gray and white um, and a short hair. Gizmo here is an Abyssinian. He is one of our many Abyssinians. We have a ton of Abyssinians. They're probably one of my favorite guinea pigs. <laughs> Hi, Angel. I'm trying to clean mom's face. And you're going to get clean too because you're stinky. So guinea pigs should only get bathed once every one to two months um, and one to two months is even pushing it. They shouldn't get bathed that often due to they can get their skin dried out, they can have issues with um, dry skin, um, cracking, their they can actually get a lot more infections in their private areas if you clean them more, that kind of stuff. So. They are very touchy, as you, some would say, to take care of them in their bathing and their nails. Um, today we are going to be doing just a bath and a nail. Usually with males I do do a grease gland checking. He is good currently with his grease glands. With grease gland cleaning, you would have to take a Q-tip. With a Q-tip you take either mineral oil or cotton, or sorry, mineral oil or coconut oil and use a cotton swab and spin it in there spin it in there so then you get all of the gunk out of there and it's just boar glue that's in there so it's stuff that uh, males naturally get from wanting to be sexually active um, and it's something that does clog them up if you do not clean it out it is one way they can get impacted uh, so you do want to make sure you check that on a male. Usually with guinea pigs, I do try to clean, clip their nails once a week. Their back nails get a lot longer than their front nails. So usually it's mainly their back nails every week and their front nails every couple weeks. Um, but right now I'm going to show you how to do nails. And I'm sorry it's not going to be very close up and personal. But I always hold the guinea pig close to my body, no matter what guinea pig it is. So Gizmo here is actually well behaved. He is a couple years old, so I'm assuming his owners hopefully took care of him in the fact of taking care of his nails. We got him from a pet store, so they did have his nails clipped, which is good. Uh, but I am going to show you. So what you want to do is Gizmo has white claws and he also has black claws. I always try to do the white claws first. I also do grooming so I'm kind of aware of how to do this. But with the white claws you will see where the bloodline is. Um, so then you cut right before that bloodline. It's really simple, really easy. I've already done two toes. He's not phased by it unless I of course make him bleed. Which then hits a nerve and then that does hurts for a second but then he's okay which it's like if you scrape the tip of your finger or something like that it hurts for a minute but then it's fine um so he already has one foot done usually based on the black feet i try to copy how short i did on the other one or i go little by little until i feel like it's good enough just because they're a lot harder to tell where the quicks are. If you were to accidentally quick a guinea pig, it's very easy fix. You can either buy quick stop, which is something I always have around. Otherwise, you can get um, flour, cornstarch, or not cornstarch, flour, baking soda, stuff like that to stop the bleeding. Once it's on there, it will stop the bleeding and it shouldn't bleed again unless he does break, he or she breaks it open. So I've already done all of his back claws. I'm gonna check his front claws. Usually they wear their front claws down pretty well. So there you go, that's one paw. Oh, you're okay, I didn't even make you bleed. You're okay. Doesn't like his front paws being done as much, but he's actually very, very well behaved for a guinea pig. So there. 
Um, I have these little scissors that you can either get in the small pet section, um, otherwise they sell them in the cat section, or I've even found them at the dollar store before, which is awesome, like the Dollar Tree, which is very good because I need to save where I can, especially having all 56 guinea, pla guinea pigs plus our extra animals. I thought he was just about to fall off the table, so I had a little panic attack there, but he's okay. He's just being silly. Um, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a quick bath here. It's usually pretty easy. I give him, or all guinea pigs I have, I use a little tub. Um, I have at least three or four different ones of these tubs. I have a couple of those pink ones that you get like, if you remember when you were a kid and there was a bunch of those pink buckets that you would puke in at hospitals or at the doctor's office and you always for some reason had three of them lying around. but. Um, we, I use those for them because they're the perfect size for any guinea pig. I'm able to fill it up to the amount that I want. I always do uh, lukewarm water for it because you do not want to do it too hot and you also do not want to do it too cold. Um, I also always have a pitcher so currently the tub is only filled to about there so it is pretty low. Uh, I have to make sure that he can be in there just fine without getting any in his face or in his ears because that is the part that you want to avoid. Um, we are going to be using All Living Things uh, Small Animal Shampoo. It is something that has been donated to the rescue. I have a couple bottles of this um, and I also have a couple of bottles of other small animal shampoo. Uh, I've heard that you can use baby shampoo if it's non-scented. That is also a good thing to use. Otherwise, just make sure you do your research on the shampoo to make sure it's able to be on small animal skin. Um, but usually Gizmo's pretty good about getting a bath, so we should be able just to do this real quick. Show you guys how to do it real fast. Ooh, you're okay. So, always have to make sure they're wet. He is taking it pretty good, which is good. Since he does have the longer hair, you have to make sure you get all the way down to the roots. Um, of course, there's going to be Peruvians that have really long hair and it's usually a lot harder to do. Um, you do a squirt down the back and then make sure you get all the way in the back, all the way, oh no, 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 no escaping, um, all the way down its butt, all the way in its belly, any male, female, so that's why I'm saying it's because I'm assuming you're hopefully going to use this technique on your guinea pigs. It's a very easy one that I've had, especially with scared guinea pigs that I get the first day of getting them and they're really disgusting. I do have to clean them off, of course. Um, males will have boric glue usually on their butt if they're with another male. So all you will do is have to have some coconut oil near or mineral oil near and just rub it on their butt towards their tail area. Uh, they have boric glue there because males try to claim dominance and it is something that happens in the wild also. Um, so after he is all soaked up, I just take, I'm gonna shut the shampoo real quick, get that out of the way and get the nail clippers out of the way, sorry. Make sure you just wash him with one hand, but I just gently start pouring some of, the, some of the water down his back, making sure I still watch the level of the water as we're going, making sure he's not escaping with the other hand. Make sure you get his belly, make sure all the soap is removed off their body. Do not get their face. If you get their ears, you can get them an ear infection or make them have an ear infection. And then they do cause a head tilt, uh, like one of the guinea pigs we currently have here. She does have a head tilt and I will be doing a later video on her. Uh, we're just trying to make sure she's quarantined for enough time before we do anything with her because I do not want to stress her out too much. But he is done with being washed. He's just going to need to be dried off now, so you have to make sure you get all the suds off of him. He's being very good. He's actually really good. Most guinea pigs try to escape at least 20 times through the whole entire bath, and it's a usually short process, but he was pretty good. He only tried to escape once, um, which is very nice because usually I'm having to chase around a wet pig and it's not as fun. Uh, and that's why this is another technique I use besides putting them in the bath because having them run around the hole in bath can stress them out and also how much water you have to put in there. They can actually drown or get an ear infection, splash it in their ears, stuff like that. So after I am done rinsing him off, I make sure I kind of drain him off with my hands. I'm going to push this out of the way, lay him on a towel. 
And then I always wrap them like a burrito. Make sure they're facing the right side up. Give him a little bit of a rub down. I usually try to cuddle dry them because they're so cute when they're wet. And they just sit there and try to shake it all off. So hopefully if I get him enough, he try to shake. So try of course not to squeeze or hurt the pig because they are very, very fragile. But I try to get as much water off as possible. He's not liking it, but it has to be done. Let's see if he'll shake for us. There he goes. So they naturally try to shake. Hi, honey. Hi. Yeah, it's your mama's boy, huh? So Gizmo is all set with his bath. It's pretty easy to do. This is a routine I do with every rescue that we get in, um, usually because they have been sitting in a dirty cage or they've never had a bath, so they do smell very bad. Um, people that have guinea pigs that smell, it's usually because they do not give them baths or do not care to do the proper, necess need, proper needs for them. So, which is giving them a bath at least once a month, every, once every two months. He is, of course, a long-haired guinea pig, so he should get one at least once a month, especially because he is with another male, and he can get the boar glue stuck in his uh, hair. But otherwise, they're pretty easy. Clip their nails like a normal cat or dog. They need to be cleaned in their genitalia for males. Uh, I can do a video later on about that. It's usually very difficult to do if you don't know what you're doing at first, but once you know what you're doing, it's so easy. The problem is making sure you have a good grip on the guinea pigs without hurting them. So I can do another video on that and doing it on multiple different kinds of guinea pigs, whether it's a skinny pig, whether it's a regular guinea pig, whether it's a baby or a big one, like an adult one, like he is three years old roughly, so he is an adult guinea pig, so he is one of the bigger guinea pigs we have here. Um, otherwise, Gizmo is all set with his bath. I'm gonna be giving him back to his brother Walter. I'm gonna check Walter's nails, make sure Walter gets a bath and make sure everyone's good to go. But, can you turn the camera please? Yeah. Okay. Follow us daily for daily updates on Instagram.com backslash Jules, in Jules Guinea Pig Palace. He is on there a lot. He is very photogenic, so I usually try to get at least a photo or two of him or even a video. We do post daily on Instagram.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. We also do have a Facebook page. He is also on there a lot because he is very photogenic. Um, most guinea pigs run away. He's like, oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> so he's very friendly, very nice. So of course I get a ton of pictures of him all the time and I always make sure he is posted and you guys are up to date with him. But Otherwise, uh, like I said, we're at facebook.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. We currently are posting things for sale there, so we're posting place items for sale there. Um, follow us on there. Every prop, Everything that we profit from, it goes to the guinea pigs. And also, you're able to get something for your spoiled guinea pig, which is the way guinea pigs should be. They should be spoiled rotten. Um, also, if you want to help out and don't have a guinea pig, we also do have Patreon, so patreon.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Uh, we put some goals in there on stuff that we usually have costing us, what it what it costs us for weekly, daily, or monthly. They are true statements. Everything does go to the guinea pigs. They are our life here besides the other animals that we have, but guinea pigs are probably the biggest ones in our family that get them get spoiled rotten so make sure you help us out at patreon.com backslash jules guinea pig palace we always are looking for help whether it's a dollar or two dollars uh, i am going to start hopefully doing shout outs to anyone who does that whether it's on youtube or instagram or facebook 
uh, for helping out because it's awesome to help out a local rescue whether you're in Minnesota or Wisconsin or even if it's just helping out a small rescue because I know other rescues are very big like the Humane Society and stuff like that but we do want to help as much as we can and that's why we do what we do. But otherwise, me and Gizmo want to say goodbye to you guys and you have a good one and I hope this helped.